morning, I'm going to do something I've never done before. It's a shopping trip. I'm going to the biggest mall in the United States, the Mall of America, and I'll be there for three days. The suitcase here is empty, but we'll be full on the way back. Welcome to Minnesota, home to Bob Dylan and Snoopy. Oh, look at this welcome. Who can resist something like this? When I told you guys that this suitcase here is empty, I was not kidding. No clothes. But I'll take care of that right now. I'm here actually for a challenge. The folks at Mall of America invited me to come here during winter with no coat. <laughs> so I came wearing uh, that wool piece that I had before, but you know, that's not gonna protect me from the temperature outside. It's five degrees now. The idea behind this is actually pretty simple. Why not bring in a coat? Because you don't need it. The temperature at the mall is constantly at 70, 72 degrees. And also we're at a hotel that is connected to the mall, the Radisson Blue. So you don't need to go outside. I love this idea of not bringing a coat. And I went further. I only brought what I'm wearing. So the next days I have $500 to go and spend on everything I'm going to need. Mall of America, thank you so much for the invitation. It's gonna be awesome. You know, it's like every woman's dream. So I hope you guys come with me to see what I'm going to find over there. The best thing about shopping in Minnesota is that here there are no sales taxes on clothes and shoes. So let me explain to my international friends what that means. If you ever came to the US, you know that when you buy something, the price you pay is different from what you had anticipated. That's because of the sales taxes. And it varies from city to city, generally between 6 and 10%. So let's say if you spend $1,000, you can expect to pay between $60 and $100 on sales taxes. That doesn't happen here. This in addition to the fact that things here in the interior of the country generally cost less compared to the East Coast or the West Coast, for example. And to make things even better, they got this coupon book. It is so full of coupons. Look at this. It costs $9.95, but with this amount of coupons, you recover your investment pretty easily. Tonight I'm meeting some friends, so priority number one for me now is to choose clothes. What am I going to wear? Because I've got no clothes. And it's even kind of hard when you uh, don't have that much time. I just have two hours now, and you have this many options. 520 stores. early today, came back here to the Mall of America, but I forgot a very important detail. At what time does the mall open? Right. At 10. I'm here much earlier. Stores are closed, but the mall is open and I discovered something very interesting. There's a lot of people here, you know, and they're exercising. I really like it and it's, it's interesting to see how important the mall is to the community here in Bloomington. Now, imagine what a temptation that is. Every day of this year you see these stores. I guess I'd like it. This mall is gigantic. You know, yesterday I couldn't even see one-tenth of it. Five million square feet. To give you an idea, you could fit here seven Yankee stadiums. You know what's most impressive? It's the amount of people that come here. 42 million every year. To give you another comparison, 
Guess how many people go to the Magic Kingdom in Disney? Half of that. And the Magic Kingdom is the most visited amusement park in the world. The best thing to do when you come here is create a list with the shops that you want to see. Look at the map, where they're located, otherwise you totally get lost. Mulligan has an app, actually, to help you find the stores, the restaurants, and everything. Now it looks like I'm somewhere else, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's an amusement park here inside the mall, which actually is the biggest indoor park in the United States. Guess where I'm going? quiet because I'm here on a Tuesday. I should sit this on a weekend. Here in front of the Lego store, they leave a lot of toys out here for kids to play. And look at those figures, how amazing. That's the biggest one in the world. I'll become a kid again, watch out. that belong to Eric Clapton. Today's my last day here, so I'll take the chance to go downstairs and explore the mall a little bit more. And in the evening, I'm going to Minneapolis. Uh, Minneapolis is the main city in Minnesota. Actually, there are three cities nearby here in this region. Minneapolis, St. Paul, the capital, and Bloomington, where we are. All three very close to each other. Good, huh? Now that I'm familiar with things here, I'm noticing some interesting things. For example, some of the stores have multiple locations, so they make it more convenient. You know what is one of the top seller items here at the mall? Luggage. A lot of people come here from other cities, states, and even other countries. And after all this shopping, they don't have how to take their stuff back home. Now I'm going to show you something cool. When I see the biggest advantage of staying in a hotel inside the mall, I was wondering if you guys uh, could send someone to pick up my bags at the mall. Okay, here they are. All right. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. No kidding, he was here less than five minutes after I called. And now they're just going to drop everything in my room. Now check out the aquarium here. I love these things. I love the way how they encourage people to touch, and everything's just so beautiful down there. Really worth the visit.
loves to visit Mall of America. And actually, I didn't have the time to do everything that I wanted. I think I needed an extra day. But most importantly, no coach challenge, done. Actually, almost. There was an exception last night to go to Minneapolis, but I'm not sure I really needed as it was less than a minute walking outside. All those buildings downtown are interconnected. Now, of course, I want to go back and really visit Minneapolis and it seems to be a beautiful city. Guys, I just want to thank again everybody at Mall of America. It was so much fun. It was like a holiday retreat. That's how I felt. <laughs> if you want to see some photos, just uh, look for me on Instagram and Facebook. And for the story behind this story here, Renata Pereira.tv.